comebacks this year. We saw you guys having a lot of fun out there. Just what did you think overall of the, the chemistry and connectedness of this group that you guys built this season? I think, you know, you don't see that in the NBA a lot. Um, I think it starts with Shea. You know, it's, it's, gonna, it's everywhere you go, kind of starts with your best player in terms of how coachable your team is going to be. And I think he does such a good job of making everyone feel involved on and off the court. And from there, you know, we got a really good group of guys. We got a deep group of guys, and we got a close knit group of guys. And that makes playing together more fun. It makes the road trips more fun. It makes everything more more enjoyable in a long season. Shea obviously, you know, led the league in drives per game for two straight seasons. But you know, as as a group, you guys look to play through the paint every single night and offensively, and have that style of play. What do you think of the way you guys were able to kind of you know build that and cultivate that throughout the season? Um, I think we did a good job of creating pretty good shots for the most part throughout games. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to keep improving. We're going to make some more shots over time. Um, I think our offense is going to improve for sure. I mean, we, we have the pieces to do so. We have hard workers. Um, and we got a good staff. So I think that's a good recipe for improvement. Ty, how are you feeling after your surgery and just when you expect to sort of ramp things back up? I'm feeling really good. Um, I think I'll start ramping. I mean, I've been kind of ramping up already, but I think I'll be full go in two weeks. So I'll have the full summer. How do you approach this offseason personally when um, you know there's going to be some sort of roster tur turnover, new draft picks coming in? Just like what's your focus going into to next season? Getting better. Um, getting in the best shape of my life. Um, the roster changes have nothing to do with me. I mean, I'm not saying I can't be involved, but I'm saying they're not. It's not my job to figure that those out. Um, Sam and the front office are one of the best in the league, and they're going to do that. Our job is to improve, and it's honestly that simple. You got the third best defensive rating out of all the guys that qualified. Um, is that something that you look to build on, and something that you came into the season wanting to focus on? Yeah, I think that was one of the question marks when I was coming out of college. Can I guard at this level? Um, and I think just, I mean, s some of the defensive rating stuff is is a little bit of luck, right? Mm -hmm. If the guy misses or makes the shot, right? But I think in terms of being a leader defensively um, and encouraging team success on defense, encouraging the game plan, encouraging everyone to ex execute the game plan, um, that's something I take pride in. Um, you know, being a leader on, on both sides of the ball is something I take pride in, so so for sure. And then typically young teams aren't good defensively, but you guys, when you were healthy, were one of the top ten, I believe. Um, so what do you attribute that, attribute that to? The staff, because they do a really good job of giving us the game plan. And then I attribute that a little bit to what Paris and I were talking about earlier about how close-knit this group is because it allows us to bark at each other a little bit. Like, if someone misses an assignment, if somebody's not in the right spot, like, we come from a place of love and everybody knows that, and that allows us to hold each other accountable. I think that's a big reason for our, our you know, somewhat success defensively this past year. Mark talks about, you know, the leader is the person doing the right thing. How much did that kind of help cultivate that environment you're talking about of guys kind of being able to hold each other accountable? A ton, a ton. Um, and we didn't really have a seven-footer anchoring the paint, blocking shots for us. So, But we, what we did have is fives that can guard all five positions. So I think, once again, the staff did a great job of utilizing what we had. Um, and players did a great job of buying in. And I think when you do that and you play hard throughout the course of a whole regular season, you're going to yield pretty good results. So. What are your thoughts on, on Trey and the progress that he made from coming to training camp? Yeah, the progress he's made is unbelievable um, in terms of finding his role in a, in a basketball game. Um, his catch and shoot improved tremendously. His willingness to shoot the ball right away off the catch improved tremendously. Um, and, he, and he started at one point got in such a good rhythm. And he started playing with you know a flow and a confidence that is pretty impressive for a rookie. Anybody else in the room? What's the, what's the biggest thing you want to do this offseason? Is to really get into that, I guess, what you want to work on this summer and 
No, I already have it all planned out. I think the biggest thing for me is going to be getting the best shape of my life um, because that's going to basically be the foundation for everything I want to do. Um, Skill-wise, obviously, I'm going to be working on, you know, continue trying to improve my shooting, obviously, but that's something I've been doing all my life. I think I just I had it off year, you know what I mean? But getting in best shape of my life is going to be the foundation for everything I want to do defensively, offensively. It's, in my position, probably the most important thing a guard can do. Is there anything you attribute your off year to shooting? No. Just got to make some more shots, and I'll do that. One on the Zoom, Christos Saltos. Go ahead, Christos. Hey, Ty. Hope you're doing well, first of all. Uh, what was the takeaways for you this season, and how, how, what would you like to improve and get better about the, ne- the next season? Um, takeaways, I think... It's uh, a big question. Um, I think when we when we compete at a certain level um we can be a pretty good team i think continue to continue to build on that um understand that we're trying to build something that 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 lasts for a long time um and we're not skipping steps i think that's the most important thing um that's what we're all going to try to go into the summer with um the mindset of individually and collectively trying to build something that can last um and not you know skip steps thank you Ty.